I think in particular Brown does a really good job of, of working with the MAT students on how to deal with um, a diverse classroom, including ethnic diversity, socioeconomic diversity, and um, uh, learning, you know, different learning styles. So I think that when the students come in to do the teaching, there's very little that we have to teach them about those differences. It's more on us and the cooperating teachers to teach how to address those differences. So, you know, Brown really, the focus that Brown has on urban education is particularly helpful to our school. Brown has a major advantage in being in Providence um, because in both in the city and in the areas around it, you really have a great cross-section of the different kinds of schools that exist across the country. And for all our student teachers who are teaching at different sites, you can really tell how their experiences and the demographics of where they are, as well as how well the, pro the program prepares them to be in that setting, um, is really beneficial for all of us. And we can share stories of how, how an urban district may be a little bit different from an urban charter school or a, a rural school. And, and I think that that's one way that I've been able to open up um, I think my perception of what good teaching is because good teaching is good teaching in all those places. Student teachers for me give me the chance to really remember what it was like to be a beginning teacher because no matter how many years you've taught you always want to pause and not ever get comfortable with what you're doing and always have somebody question you and give you feedback and be a voice that sometimes the students aren't willing to give in your classroom. Brown Summer High School is a really good exercise for me in classroom practice and in planning. Uh, backwards planning is something that you understand why it's important and it's not always easy to do. Um, and I really struggled to have a lesson that was well structured, that started off with purpose and ended with purpose, and always assessing that students were understanding exactly what I wanted them to, but also letting them make meaning of material in ways that they would retain. I also really um, enjoyed having that breadth of 9th through 12th graders that really challenged me to differentiate the way I was teaching and allowed me to play with how I approach students as a person. Being so young, and ha being very close to in age to some of my students, I, I definitely was very conscious of how I had to set myself apart as a teacher in that classroom. But getting to know my students and letting them get to know me, I think was probably what made the experience the most meaningful. All the professors in the program are very warm and firm. I'm definitely honored to work with them. They're very caring people. They're amazing educators and they have answers to questions that I felt like no one else, no one would understand. But I think that they really have struggled the same way that we have and, and really have a good understanding of, of the challenges that we face and what the craft really means. Each one of the clinical professors uh, are some of the most supportive people that I've ever meet, met in the teaching profession. Um, be, not only because they're nurturing brand new students to become teachers one day themselves, but also with me, they understand my limitations and my time responsibilities as well. Somehow they always manage to pair me up with student teachers that are like eHarmony matches. We're perfect for each other. This program is different from all the other programs because we're small and the 10 people that you're in the program with are the 10 people that you're going to remember well after you graduate. These are the 10 people that you're going to call one day when you don't know what to do in your own classroom or you're struggling with how to teach a difficult student. Those 10 people are the ones that you're always going to fall back on and that's what I always would carry from the program. If I could return to Brown, I definitely would. I think it's been an invaluable experience um, and I'm sure that you can find an MAT program that's set up similarly in other places, but I think it's the quality of the people and the passion that they bring into this program that really makes it special. The teachers that I've had at Brown, um, all the professors are very passionate about urban education, they're passionate about the value of an education for anyone, and they really want to pass that along. So they don't want us just to be able to deliver a good lesson, they want us to be leaders and to help our students prepare to be leaders, and that's invaluable.